Hello everyone. Today we will use SPSS software to analyze one way ANOVA with the post hoc Duncan test. For doing that, we have taken one example for in this case, we took a food sample and we gave a treatment, treatment one and two. It may vary depending on your case also. You can have more than uh, two treatment and we will compare with the control and we have to check that there is a significant difference after treatment. So we, this is our independent parameter that is a different treatment and then after giving treatment we will see the effect on vitamin c content and that will be our dependent parameter so in spss we have to assign a value for each treatment we will see this how we do in spss later on once we give treatment and we we have noted down the our data which i have given in the table and in spss it is a mandatory to take at least triplicate data in each case so here we can see we have three control three treatment one and three treatment two data i have taken so let's go to the SPSS and we will see how we do one way and our post hoc Duncan test. So this is our SPSS software where we can see here variable view and data view. In variable view, we generally write here all the dependent and independent parameter parameters. In data view, uh, we give a data what we got after the experiment. For going into further, I will tell you one thing. Each row in the variable view represent each column in the data view. So we will write here our treatment. That is our independent parameter and second row will be our vitamin C for treatment I have told you we have to assign value here we have taken the three treatment that is control T1 and T2 so we will assign one value for control two value for treatment one and Three value for treatment two. Once we have assigned this, we will also measure this in this one as a nominal. This next we have given the vitamin C. This is a scalar value that is dependent parameter parameter. So it will be in a data form, so that's why we assign it as a scale so we gave two rows so we will get here two column in this data view and then we are once we will type here one that is assigned to control so each so here we have taken a data in triplicate so we have to give data in triplicate form and then like that we will write the all treatment you can even convert into number form also which we have assigned the value so better to keep like this so for better understanding now we will put the data on the vitamin c content so here i have given data value to the each treatment now we will go to analyze compare means and one way ANOVA here our vitamin C is a dependent parameter so it will go into this and treatment that is a factor that is our independent parameter we will assign here so we will go to the we will click on Duncan test with the LST and our significance level is 0 0.05 
we will continue here and click on the option we have to click on the descriptive and homogeneity of variance we have to check it and after assigning these two values we will click it ok here in here we have descriptive value test of homogeneity ANOVA and here is our Duncan result so this is our after giving the different treatment we have done the SPSS after doing SPSS we have got the Duncan table here so we got the three different column for three different treatment that means there is a significant difference among the treatment so this is how we represent data for the research paper or your any kind of work so each control t1 t2 the value which we are seeing here represent the mean value and this one is the standard deviation you can get it uh, from the upper part of SPSS result that is in you can get in the descriptive data and ABC represent each column so for your case if you have more than two treatment they may share data with the different column so they then they will have same subscript on the their data value this is how we do one way ANOVA with post hoc Duncan test thank you so much